Hey everyone, Rob here, and what an eventful day it has been. If you've been looking at some of my previous videos, you know that the town of Grindavik was evacuated in the middle of the night, and that's because the earthquake activity was basically out of control. Roads were being destroyed, the buildings were, you know, being cracked, and, and significant number of earthquakes and a high magnitude, so they evacuated the entire town. They set up Red Cross stations, gymnasiums, um, there's people on Facebook posting that if anyone needs somewhere to stay, free of charge, get in touch with them. So it's an outpouring from the community helping people around. Now, around 800 earthquakes have been recorded in this Grindavik zone since midnight. The seismic, seismic activity has only decreased a little bit in the last few hours, but it is still really high. Now, the most seismic activity in the last few hours has been in the southwest end of this magma tunnel, which is near Grindavik. Now, the data received last night uh, is still being processed by the Meteorological Society and Agency of Iceland, and their goal is to better understand the magnitude of all of this seismic activity. Now, the data does indicate that the magma tunnel extends uh, from Stora Skogsfell, hopefully I said that right, in the north, uh, and to the south of Grindvik Bayer into the sea. Now, according to their very first model in calculations, and based on satellite data since last night, the depth to the top of the magma tunnel north of Grindavik is estimated at only 1.5 kilometers. So that's quite a bit shallower than the 5 kilometers that they were estimating just a couple days ago near the Blue Lagoon. Now, based on the latest GPS data as well, the speed of the deformation is much, much higher than what has been measured in the upheavals on the Reykjanes Peninsula before. Now, based on all of these measurements and satellite images, it seems to them that the size of the magma tunnel and the magma flow uh, associated with it is many times more than what has been measured previously in recent years in the Reykjanes Peninsula. Now, it's a lot of information on this. The models indicate that the magma tunnel extends into the sea south of Grindavik. It's unlikely, though, that they say that, it's, that the magma will emerge on the sea floor because they're saying if you look at the history of eruptions in the area... Um, it's, it's more likely that it's not gonna be at that point. Now, all of these scientists are meeting regularly to interpret this data. New deformation data is expected later today to give a clearer picture of the development of this, and uh, they're holding pre press conferences all the time. But you can see here, uh, what we're looking at is all of the earthquakes that have been going on over the past just a little bit, and it's basically centered in on Grindavik. Um, if we look at the map here from uh, vethert.is, we can see these green stars covering the Reykjanes Peninsula. It's just a crazy amount of activity that's been going on. And um, so this is part of the reason why they've evacuated the town. You can see here, the news is reporting the magma tunnel could be up to 12 kilometers long. Again, taking a look at the map here, riddled everywhere from Grindavik all the way to the Blue Lagoon. We have people sleeping in gymnasiums. You can see an image here from Visir showing the cots that have been set up for those that don't have anywhere else to go. As I said, there's been Facebook posts and, and things like that of other people, just regular people offering their houses. Um, they are now looking at revising the location of the defense. You can see here a picture of the old defense structure that was around the Blue Lagoon and the power plant. That's all being reevaluated to see if they need to build it somewhere else, now the conditions have changed. I know that they have started some fortifications uh, around the Blue Lagoon and the power point plant. That's all being revised. Uh, and as I said, 1.5 kilometers down from the top of the magnet tunnel, uh, it's very shallow. And so they're saying, basically, as the title here from MBS says, the Grindavik residents should prepare that they will be out of the town and evacuated from the area for at least several days while this all unfolds and uh, and seeing what happens now i know a lot of people are wondering you know what's the status of this what happens if it erupts you got a trip pops possibly coming into iceland what happens to flights is it going to be another uh, case of when was it when that erupted stopping flights around europe uh it's hard to say at this point they have said that because of the area and because of the water in the area it could be an explosive eruption Hopefully, it uh, doesn't disturb anything too much, but usually 
at the very start of an eruption, flights are grounded, and then it resumes quite quickly afterwards, unless, of course, smoke or ash or something gets uh, gets in the way of the planes. But I don't expect, based on, on previous eruptions, that there's going to be any significant delays to air traffic, unless, again, we get another uh, smoke or ash plume that uh, that just has terrible... Terrible uh, shifting with the winds and everything like that. So, a ton of information coming out. <laughs> it's really uh, trying to keep on top of it. Again, if uh, if you're in Iceland and you have an extra room and there's people in Grindavik who need somewhere to stay, um, you know, reach out, post. There's Red Cross helping if you're a Grindavik resident that has nowhere to go. And um, if you're a hotel owner and you've got some free rooms, now might be a good time to put those rooms to good use and offer them up to the people of Grindavik and the surrounding area because not everyone that lives in these towns uh, might have somewhere to go. So it's nice that everyone bands together. So that's it. Um, there's a lot to unfold. Foreign media is pouring in and, and also covering this. So uh, stay tuned, I guess, because there's going to be more updates, I'm sure, very, very shortly. So until then, thank you so much for watching.